This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. The process of actually creating a panel schedule is fairly straightforward. Once you've placed your electrical equipment, light fittings, distribution boards, switches, sockets, etc., created the necessary circuits, and then connected those circuits to panels. The next process is to go to the Analyze tab and click on Panel Schedules. With the Create Panel Schedules dialog box open, the message here is that panel schedules are created using the default templates. In this instance, I'm interested in panel schedule for LP1. So if I click on OK, this now gives me a distribution board schedule for panel LP1, and it gives me information about its location, where it's supplied from, its mounting, and enclosure. All these properties are properties from the actual distribution board, as well as the voltage, phase and wires. Scrolling to the bottom of the schedule, you can see that we have a load classification. Here is the connected load and a demand factor with an estimated demand for the total load. We have the circuit information are the circuits that are connected to that board. We've got options here to rebalance loads to make sure that loads are balanced fairly evenly across the phases. So if I select rebalance loads, it moves the circuits around to give some more evenly balanced loading, or we can actually choose where those loads appear. In particular spaces, we can either assign a spare or a space and possibly lock that so that this circuit never gets used. Additionally, we can edit the fonts for all these lines for when we actually place this on a sheet.